so they um, they he found the transformers. So he's he getting the transformers. The tra he's getting the transformers, <laughs> and then they're going to um, replace. It feels weird talking to this thing. It's been eight months. I know. I've been lost. I know a lot of you thought that I wasn't going to come back. I've been reading some of your comments on YouTube and I've been getting your messages on Instagram. You guys thought that I was done for good, that I was done with YouTube, I was done collecting. That's not the case. I just stepped away for a while to deal with some personal things, one of which is my health. I turned 40 this year, so I wanted to focus on my weight loss. I've been doing really good. I'm down about 100 pounds. I don't know if you guys can tell from looking at me through the screen, but I'm wearing an XL. I used to wear a 4X, which just saying it sounds crazy. But yeah, I miss this. I miss making content. I haven't been collecting. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but wait, I have Seth creeping up next to me. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss this. I miss hanging out. I miss. I miss collecting, but more than anything, I miss hanging out with my friends and capturing the moments on YouTube, so I could always have this to look back at when we're like 75. And old and great well old i'm already great listen at that point we're going to be in retirement retirement home you know watching watching our life re-watching the history of our lives and our hunts and all that stuff and then we're going to look back and be like man how did we get away with that we'll find out we'll find out what it's like watching this back when we're 75 with our grandkids yeah hopefully you know uh but yeah i was going to make a whole video talking about what i've been up to for the past eight months but i figured who cares right you guys why should you care I had to step away, take care of some personal stuff, work on my health, been spending a lot of time with my kids. My oldest is playing basketball, so I've been working out with him a lot. And that's it, you know? I want, I've been doing this for the past four years, and it was like just becoming the same routine over and over. I wanted to step away and I wanted to miss it, and I'm at that point now where I miss this. I miss creating content, I miss collecting, I miss my friends, uh, so I'm back. I'm back and I'm excited. I haven't been buying many figures. I've bought a few here and there. The only thing I've been doing hobby-wise lately, a lot of, is photography. I don't know if you guys know this, but before I started collecting, one of my biggest hobbies was photography. I've always loved it, and I missed it. I haven't done it at all since I started this channel, so I got back into that. I've been posting a lot of it on YouTube. Not YouTube, Jesus. Instagram, uh, on my personal account. If you guys don't follow that account, I'll link it down in the description below. It's just Mike Perez IG. If you guys wanna check it out, see some of my work, criticize it comment on it i would appreciate the feedback but that's it that's all i've really been up to so i figured why make a whole video there's not much to say you know i'm good i'm healthier than i've ever been i'm in a great place in life i'm happier than i've ever been so that's it we're outside of bits and buttons there's the van ah i forgot how to do this already bear with me it's been a while <laughs> let's go inside and check it out let me tell you something this place has always been packed with a lot of cool stuff but he has more now than i've ever seen before i mean the shelves are just to the roof check this out look at that every aisle is jam-packed you see right away some helmets i do kind of want this one I don't have it yet here's another piece that i've been looking for I was out with Big Dub in Atlanta a few weeks ago. We went to a bunch of targets to find me one and we couldn't find it. And here it is. So I might pick, oh, he has both of them. Yeah. I gotta get them while I'm here. That's pretty cool. I don't have to go to a bunch of targets to hunt them down. All right, let me show you all the Star Wars ships he has. Starting off with that beast. I've been wanting that for a very, very long time. It doesn't have a price on it. And I'm not gonna ask either. <laughs> so check this out. Look at all that. That is insane. Never seen this much here before. Now we want it all. That's a problem. So, oh, two ats. This is pretty sweet. This is the first time I've seen this in a box, to be honest. Yeah, it's so big I can't even pull it out. All right, here we go. It's gonna fall. This thing is massive. 
I wonder how much he's asking for this. Hmm. What is this? Another a a Two, three different ones. I'm sure he has more somewhere. He's got the Slave One, TIE Fighters, some X Wings. Hmm, I already have these. The ATST. Kmart exclusive. That's pretty dope. It's got the Endor Bunker, Navarro's Cantina. I already have that. I don't have that. So that's a maybe. Two more X Wings. And two more ATSTs. Oh, and a Seth. It's an inception moment. <laughs> I'm inside you and you're inside me. It's been a long time since that happens. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Checking out the three and three quarters wall. It's not much that I need, but I do see two figures I would like to pick up. I need one of these. I don't think I've picked this up yet. And I would like to get uh, two of these Tuscan Raiders. What am I picking up a few more Jawas? Where are they? There they are. I never have enough Jawas. That's really all I need though. For a vintage collection. I'm pretty good on everything else. Here's a figure that I've never seen before. I don't know when this came out. But it's pretty cool. Vader? Willie Nelson. <laughs> Is this newer? So I knew it me like the past eight. The past six months, yeah. Okay, I haven't been out like in nine months. So. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of want this. It's pretty cool. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you're into that obscure stuff anyway. <laughs> it's Willie Nelson, bro. I think you just like it because it says that he, he's just Willie. You like <laughs> Willie. All right, I'm here checking out the back room. Even this has changed a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's new. He's carrying Mythic Legions now. Check that out. Is that the same? Nope. Hmm. Bunch of head sculpts. That one is pretty dope. I mean, they're all pretty cool. Oh, I love this guy. That's my favorite thing about Mythic Legions is all the knights. I don't really collect all the goblins and all the other stuff. But the knights are my favorite. If you guys saw the Toilana video from two years ago, that's what got me hooked. That's when I was there and I bought about 10 Knights nice Templars and I still have them. Bruh. I've bought Mythic Legions and gotten rid of a few here and there but the Knights nice Templars that I will never get rid of even if I just have a display of Knights nice Templars I'm happy with that. Hmm. He's got these as well. A few statues and it's just a little bit of everything in the store. Huh, I also noticed that he has hot toys back here now. Before they were all up front. But he's carrying that many. I guess he needs more room. Alright. I'm not going to reach up there. I'm, I think there's more hot toys. Oh no, there's not. I thought there was more hot toys behind those. But it looks like that's it. I just noticed something else that I need. I walked right by it the first time. Oh, the good news is he's got a sale going on on these. On these two? Yeah. Buy two, buy, buy two get one free. Hmm. Well, there's two. <laughs> and that makes three. And, and that makes one's three. Free. Yeah, but the problem is that like with these, I need like four 
with six. Oh, are you army building? Well, I mean, you can't buy one, right? Yeah, it depends on how deep you want to go. I want to go deep. Balls deep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> Alright. All right, you guys, we're done here at Bits and Buttons. I did pick up the Earl Sinclair and the Baby Sinclair dinosaurs. We're going to Tate's next, right? Oh, we're going to go Tate's, yeah. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, we'll go to Tate's and then we'll backtrack to the other right. to the other place. All right, we'll see you guys at Tate's. First purchase in like eight months. <laughs> I was going to buy a bunch of Star Wars figures. Maybe a vehicle. I don't know. But he has a lot of it and i'm gonna be coming back here very soon i figured i'll leave that for another video just do like a big star wars hunt and today i'm kind of like on a nickel trip I've been wanting these i was gonna get them at target but i figured you know support bits and buttons prefer to buy from him if i can so yeah see you guys when we get to tates Oh, hey, what's up? So, I'm supposed to be on vacation, but I'm working. You're, you're, the whole time we've been together, you've just been on the phone. I'm sorry, man. Just sorry. Listen, I got mouths to feed, okay? And I have to feed me, too. Speaking so, of which, I mentioned my weight loss. You've lost about 30 pounds. So, oh, well, right? you, well, so at the end, so in one of the videos I'm coming, that's coming out, I mentioned my situation and where I've been and why, what's been going on with the videos lately. So if you haven't watched that yet and you're watching this, I'll let you know. I've become diabetic. So I've had to lose weight. I've had to watch my blood sugar. I've basically, have had to change my whole lifestyle on the way I do things. So as of right now, I'm down about 30 pounds. I'm working on still getting my weight down so I can control my diabetes and <laughs> we'll go we'll go from there <laughs> all right well i wasn't asking for all that i just meant to say you look good bro well thanks man <laughs> thanks man i feel good i feel good i feel like i got a little bit of pep in my step you know like when i used to go skiddly d <laughs> all right we're outside of tate's i'm excited to see what they got it's another place i feel like i haven't been here in a year neither right i haven't been here in a hot minute either it's been a couple of months for sure so it's gonna be a surprise yeah. for both of us surprise surprise <laughs> All right, well, we literally just walked into the door. I already see something else that I need. All right. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep saying, I keep seeing stuff that I need this whole video because- Oh, the Marty and the Doc? Yeah, uh, back to the future part three. Yeah, I'm not pointing the camera at me. I should be showing them. Should it's been eight months, okay? I'm you a little got, rusty. You gotta, you gotta get back into the swing of things, man. Come on. Check this out. Oh, I want these. But I've spent a lot of money, 270. Uh, I mean, yeah, they sell. I forgot already. They sell at Sideshow's prices. But man, I spent so much money for Christmas already. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait off on these two. But I will be picking that up at some point. Sooner than later, I hope. Hmm. Should get this guy for the Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm sure my wife would love that. See what else they got. Oh man, I haven't seen new hot toys. It feels like forever. Mm, good on these. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. I'm not really doing black series that much anymore though. I've been really, really concentrating on three and three quarters been enjoying collecting a lot more now that I'm more focused on certain things and not just buying stuff randomly like I used to I mean I'm still buying a lot of stuff not lately obviously but I'm more focused I'm gonna talk about that probably in the next video well that's new we switched out the hot toys display Luckily for me, there's nothing here that I'm interested in anymore. Although, I'm sure that's going to change when we hit the Star Wars section. Okay, that's dope. I like that one. I really like this one too. I like the way it displays. 
That's pretty cool. All right, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time here. We have to get to the other store soon because we do have things we have to do today after we're done filming. So that's why this video is gonna be a little shorter than you're used to, but the videos coming up are gonna be back to normal, okay? We're gonna get 30 minutes, hour long videos again. Oh, this video might be 30 minutes, I don't know, but I'm talking so much shit. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Let's go to the Star Wars section. There's so much I wanna look at. All right, we're here at the Star Wars section. I see a few of these samurai Star Wars figs. I love these things. I don't think I have those two. Yeah, the Praetorian card. Mm hmm. I see they have a sail barge. Oh, yeah, look at that one camera. <laughs> and they got a ra and they got a Razor Crest. 2500. I already have the Razor Crest. I'm good on you know that. I got the Slave have? One. I got the Razor Crest. I don't have a sail barge. You know what you don't have? What's that? A C-3PO era dick card. <laughs> you know who does have that? Gramps. Gramps. Gramps has got the dick card. He's got a bunch of them. All right, let me show you something else that's sick. I want it just because of the size and how it looks. I'm not going to lie. I don't really need it. Check that out. That is... That is sick. Look at it compared to the speeder bike. Look at the size of that man again. It's massive. That's not bad. Only 515 for that? 515? That's not bad. Check this out. I haven't seen this one. The C3PO? First time I see that. Hmm. This guy's pretty dope. Yeah, I don't even know what C3PO that is. I don't know. I've never seen it. Yeah. It's very patina. It's nice though. I like the it. The patina on it's nice. It's 330. I, must, I wonder if there's any metal any metal to it. Instead of it being plastic. Oh, if we knock it over, we'll hear it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> push the case really hard. Yeah, right? Let's see what they have in this case over here. Oh, it's statues. One tenth scale. Hmm. Oh, check that out up there. All the, the blur, all those are the uh, the quarter scale hot toys. Yeah. And then they got the blurs. Those are dope. Damn it, Christian! Where are you? They need you up front. It's just loud as fuck. <laughs> right, let me show you guys all the hot toys they have. Inbox. I'm pretty sure all of these are out on display as well. I don't know how well you can see them though with the glare because they're all wrapped. But yeah, they got a great selection as they always do here at Tate's. And then here are some more. I mean, they do have a lot. A lot. I don't know if I want this one or not. I might pick this up at some point. I don't know. I will say the one thing I like about Tate's is that you can see the hot toys displayed out the box. Before you buy them, I just found the Back to the Future 3 figures. Back in the Marty. Yeah. Nah, if you go Back to the Future, man, Back to the Future 1 is the ones to one or one or two of the ones no, to get. I, I can mean, I can skimp on I can skimp on three. My opinion is you need them all. You know, I mean that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that movie was a huge part of my childhood, okay? I watched that movie over and over on repeat. I used to have it on video cassette. And anything Back to the Future, I buy because I just love that movie. But that's me. I'm not saying everybody needs to buy them all. I want them all. And now after I see them out the box, I really do want them. I really like the Doc Brown with the rifle. Yeah, those are sweet. This guy's over here singing. What are you singing right now? Singing Transformers, man, because it's Rodimus Prime. Rodimus Prime? Yeah, from the Transformers movie, the kid, the, the cartoon movie. Never saw it. Oh, you son of a bee. <laughs> Shame this man. Oh, Whoa. Shit. I, think I, just I thought you were making a Transformer sound effect. I think, no, I think <laughs> I just blew my back out. 
finger just blew my back out. That's what just really happened. Uh, All right, you guys, that's it for us. We ran out of time. Actually, we still got like 10 minutes, but that's not enough. The store is so massive. I know I didn't show you that much, but I did see a few things, well, like two or three things that I want to pick up here. There are a few things I want to pick up a bit, so I'm pretty sure that I'll be back next weekend. And I'll show you guys. I didn't show what I want to buy on purpose. So that way you guys can see it for the first time in like a week or so. I don't know. I got like three videos coming out before that. Yeah. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Are you good? Ready to go? I'm good. You good? All right. I'm Let's good. Do. Let's I'm go. ready to go. We're going to a new store. Brand new. Just opened. I'm excited. Yo. What's up? What's up, man? How's it going, brother? Hey, on camera already? Yeah, already, man. You know how I do it. Nice picture. Right, you gotta do the thing that you do that. Oh, that, 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 I don't do that anymore. That's my old. That's my old gimmick. Old times that that he but what? Popping everybody. <laughs> <laughs> last season. That was last season. Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. I'm here at Plastic Universe. Brand new store just opened up. My buddy Guillermo opened up a store. Didn't tell me anything. You know when I found out he had a store? When he opened. That's messed up. You guys might remember him if you saw the Megacon video. What's up? He shared a booth with uh, Jeff and myself at yeah, Megacon. Yeah, so. like happy toys. I was just saying that you opened up a whole store, you built it out, and you didn't tell me anything. I did? What do you mean? You told me when you were about to open. I, I would have been here filming the, the I setup. I invited the, you. Well, I did that. I did that. I oh, so you can watch that. it on your channel. Yeah, it's on our channel, but I did invite you. But you were having barbecue. Okay. Yes, I know. You invited me to like a little thing before the grand opening. That was a private, no, like a private for friends and family, a very exclusive thing. See how he twisted? <laughs> see, like see, like I could, see, I, see, I could say something right now because I didn't get the invite. <laughs> I didn't know you. I just got to know you. <laughs> Always making it about yourself. I am. That's, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> All right, I'm just messing with him, man. He's a cool guy. Great looking store, a lot of cool stuff. You guys uh, remember how much I used to love Spawn? Well, I still love Spawn, but how much I used to collect Spawn? I bought a lot of Spawn in my life. This guy has so much of it that I don't think I could show everything in one video. I'm gonna start off back here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Is there anything that you think, like, you think I should start somewhere specific or what? You want to well, give me the tour? Joe's, Joe's? You want to talk Joe's? I have Joe's from from more than 15 countries. All right, let's talk but Joe's. I, I don't know anything about Joe's, so. Like, for example, this this guy. I brought this on a bag on the plane from Paris. Because here's the thing. In French, they, they barely have, like, they don't have basements or attics or that kind of stuff. They have, like, tiny closets. So when you get new clothes, you have to give away the old one, right? You gotta make space. The last thing that you want to keep in the box for 30 years is a toy. Yeah. So that's Finding very rare. Finding seal stuff in, 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 in France, it's not easy. And then you have Argentina uh, from the famous Plastirama, and there, or you have Estrella, Brazil, India, Russia. Um, I have Joes from all over the world. So basically, much. if you're a big Joe collector, this is the place to be. This is a place to get weird stuff, like that. Not the stuff that you get online, for sure. Yeah, not the common stuff you're gonna find everywhere. Correct. Like uh, this uh, rich layer, he's he's Argentinian, and that's why he's darker than the usual. Or like, look, I love, I love. That's why I put these two together. So, this is our domestic release of Bulletproof, and then um, Estrella did it with Commandos en Nassau in Brazil, but they took you know, the liberty of changing it a little bit. For example, they say, well, we don't like the helmet, so we're gonna remove the helmet from the art. And then I think the colors are too dull, so we're gonna make it more like neon type. And then the African-American thing might not work, so they just whitewashed the guy, if you look at the, oh. at the character. Oh, that's it's, crazy. It is, so, cause they thought, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna sell as much. Uh, so that type of stuff, for me specific, but me, like for example, Cover girl. She came with the Wolverine. This is the domestic cover girl. She came with the Wolverine. Obviously, it was box. And she came on a little window that sticks on the box, right? But Plastidama in Argentina, they did not get the Wolverine. They only got they only got her. So what they did was like, well, you know what? Let's just come up with an artwork and have 
and got her release her carded. That's why there's a carded, you know, this type of stuff. Or the famous Chinese guys, you know. G.I. Joe got really, really popular back in the day. And so the Chinese kids are starting to say, look, we want, we want to buy Joe's and stuff. So, you know, the company was in Hong Kong. Most of them were made overseas. And they started to distribute um, American-based Joe's. And then the Chinese government said, you're not going to sell American soldiers in land in China. In China. So they had to make the, the cart in Mandarin or Chinese. And the back of it is beautiful. Let me show you. I think I show you some of this. Yeah, I saw it at Super Fun Con, I believe. So, you know, cannot be more real American hero than a G.I. Joe, but they found a way to make it more like, you know, <laughs> communist type. <laughs> But it's a lovely, it's a lovely type. Like convention exclusive. The everything in the glass, like that show and worry right there, was made in Venezuela. What are we pointing at? So it's different than, than the that guy. Yeah. So that's from Venezuela. That's, that was made in Venezuela in late seventies. Late seventies. Oh. You got prototypes. 12 inch prototype. Alright, I'm gonna wait for you because you might have to go through those and explain them. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna check out the, the common folk stuff. Right. The stuff that I buy. <laughs> Stink for mortars, exactly. <laughs> well, I was gonna check out the Star Wars figures, but I didn't realize how much of it he has. This wall is huge, so it goes pretty much from the end over there all the way down to right about here. Then the Joe start there. Then he has Masters of the Universe over there. I'll, I'll show you that later. But yeah, that that is a lot to dig through. I don't have all day. <laughs> the good news is is that he's close to Tate's and Bits. And so I'm always up here anyways. This is not going to be a story. It's going to be added to my weekly routine toy hunt. And I'll have time to check everything out little by little. And that's not all of it. He has more you can see behind me so yeah if you guys are in the area he's right across literally right in front of sawgrass mall sawgrass mill i don't know how you call it if you're in the area come check it out even if you're not you're from my area miami it's worth the drive a lot of cool stuff especially if you're into rare vintage stuff you're gonna love this store all right i was trying to do something but i got distracted so i forgot what aloe was on move on Something different. Can I show behind the counter? Yeah. Go right, we're going behind the counter. Yeah. Just yeah, want to show axis. you guys all axis. These are cool. Kmart exclusives. I wasn't collecting when these were out. So I always enjoy seeing stuff like this. I really like this. I kind of want this. Hmm. I'm not surprised. Those are the chips that, I, that I've been able to like clean and get out, but I still have. Let me show you through the window. Oh. Yes, always in motion these holidays. See those things? Mm -hmm. Little ships? Mm -hmm. Vehicles? The stuff that I haven't been able to go through, and half of it is vehicle. Wow. Star Wars and the. Vehicles at the top. Yeah, I saw the vehicles. Can't wait to come back when all that's out. He showed me in the back earlier and half, the back is, I would say not half of the size of all this, but a good third, right? And it's filled with spawn that he still has to bring. I mean, he has, a, if you're into spawn, obviously GI Joe's and spawn, come check it out. He has a lot of it. Oh yeah, he has everything. He has Star Wars, he has everything, but I've never, I haven't seen this much spawn in one place in a while. It's like, it's like a, so that's why I keep saying the 90s and came back. Yeah. <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the Star Wars wall. I can't help it. I've only seen about a quarter of it. And there is one thing that I just remember I need to pick up, which is an IG-11, I think. You okay? I'm Han Solo, I'm covering it. <laughs> like I was saying, I was looking through my three and three quarter figures, not even a week ago, 
and for some reason I couldn't find an IG-11 even though I'm sure I have one so if he has one I'm just gonna pick one up this is the retro collection oh there we go Seth saves the day that's what I do I got those eagle eyes alright I do need this one could have sworn I had it but can't find it if it turns out that I did buy it already then I have two can't have too many IG-11s it's very true you know what else I would like to find uh, Cara Dune but not the retro one that's the one he has here I don't like that one that much why well, they're all the same just the packaging is different no the figure's different the way it looks yeah All right, let me put this on the counter. Let's separate this. And, ooh. Oh, you know, I kind of like the vehicles these come with. The little speeder bike. I have a few. I don't think I have these. Let me check these out and put this down. Yeah, you see, like, I don't know. I don't really care about the figure that much. But the bikes are dope. I know I have like two of these. I don't have this one. So I might be taking this one as well. Just... Let's see. I don't know if I want to leave this one behind. It's going to be all alone. It's going to be lonely. Okay, it's not a bike, but it is pretty cool. I'll figure out a spot for it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm taking this one too. Why not? Hey, you don't happen to have... Uh, the name is slipping my mind. The... Um, the sand crawler. The, the Disney one, the one, the, the blue box? That's the one. That's the Disney but you don't have one in the box? No. That's a, huh? It's complete though. Everything no, I know. I just, I, I'm not going to display it for a minute, so I like to have it in the box. It's easier to store. Yeah. And I had like two of those and I got rid of them. And I want it back. Again, I'm not showing you guys nothing. I'm just showing you my face. I'm rusty. Give me a minute. I'll do so that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> uh, so I'm here checking these out. Yeah, this is massive, bro. This guy's foul, but... This thing is cool. And if it... It doesn't have batteries, because otherwise they rust inside. But if you push this button, this thing comes out. Yeah, you can put them all... You can put them all... all the droids. I love it. It's, it's a huge... That's this really is like cool the... Piece. Phantom Menace version of the Arad, pretty much. Mm -hmm. For me, that that was that was the main vehicle of the line when I was a kid. I used to love to play with this thing. Right, look at that! In comparison with the other, it's a decent size, you know, an amazing size. This was my favorite vehicle, and it, and it went from Star Wars to Joe's, like. To he man, everyone used this vehicle when I was a little, when I was a kid. At some point, it was a Cobra tank. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty sweet. I don't have a snow speeder. My three and three quarter figures. It's complete. I added the look as a gift. It has a tow, the tow cable, and everything. I don't know how many people have sent me messages for a sail barge. Oh, dude, I just saw a sail barge. I just saw a sail barge at Tate's. They're asking 25 What? So, really? You got the so 25 tempting. Well, a lot of people have been asking 25 for it. That's why I haven't bought one yet, man, because it's, I don't know. It's a toy that costs as much as, it costs more than my first car. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's a centerpiece. Yeah. It's a centerpiece for sure. All right, so we're leaving Plastic Universe. Cool store. Make sure you check it out. 
um, leave the links in the description below for the YouTube channel and the store IG so you can follow them. It was fun being back on the hunt with you. Missed you, buddy. I missed you too, man. You know what? You know what? What's up? It's so hot. Wow, that's no, a treat. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> wow, keep going. Keep going. It's, it's, it's so hard to say goodbye to my OG geek. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. You got a gift. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. All right. With, with so, um, we're done here. Awesome store. A lot of cool stuff. Really cool guy. If you guys are in the area, come check it out. You will not be disappointed. Support good people, man. That's good people right there. That's why I always go to Bits and Buttons because Dominic's a really cool guy. And Guillermo was one of those guys, man, that just since day one, since the day I met him, we clicked. So I look forward to coming back. And like I said, he's really close to Bits and Buttons and Tate's. So I just make this part of my, you know, my trio. It's a, it's a loop now. My, my, yeah, it's, it's a, a loop. It's a, it's a loop. It's a loop to loop. All right, so uh, I guess that's it. That's the video. First video back. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm rusty. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I forgot about that. I forgot <laughs> how to end these things. I was just going to turn off the camera. Oh, no, no, see, see. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, how did I end it? It was. Um, That's what you always do. Yeah, but it was Be something sure before. Be sure to like, that. comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> that was part Be, of it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, that, that like. Button. I don't think I ever said that. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. I remembered. <laughs> there you go. Ah. You did it. <laughs> You know, I haven't seen this guy. I know Big I just boy. ended. I know I ended the video, but I haven't <laughs> seen this guy. The last time I saw you was like five months ago. We went to the zoo. Yeah, that was the last time I saw you. When we went to the zoo. You want a pretzel? Nope. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, was he riding an elephant? Where did he get that from? I have no idea. <laughs> Your mom.